Welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm in Eureka and I'm here with a good friend, Owen right there. <laughs> and we are gonna check out some of the old mines here in Eureka. A lot of gold, copper, silver out here. And we're gonna go ahead and check out this hill right over here. I've been here before a while back and there were some nice minerals. I'm trying to remember exactly what they were. I thought there was barite and malachite and azurite and things like that. So we're going to go see what we can find and just have some fun. We're at the base of the mine tailings. Looked around a little bit. It took a little while to find some stuff. But I found this nice little piece right here. I don't know if you can tell in there, but right on the top right here, we've got some botryoidal malachite. Pretty cool looking, so I'll wash that up. Well, after digging a little bit in here, didn't find a whole lot. Just a few pieces of malachite and some barite here and there. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next location. We went to two other mine tailings after this and found basically nothing. By now, we were both pretty desperate for something to pan out. After a brief discussion about our options, Owen suggested that we try a spot he knew of where we could find some limonite pseudomorphs after pyrite. I said, sure, it can't be any worse than where we have been so far. And so, we went there. I've only been looking a few minutes and here we got already. Look at that. Nice big cube. I found this one. And right there, look at that. It's just a cube sitting right there. Broken one. Little cube right there. And another one I've got in my pocket here. little ones on that one. And then this cube. The other nice. So we're here up on the hill at a private location looking for these limonite cubes. Pseudomorphs after pyrite. So in this area we're supposed to find cubes. Further up there's supposed to be dodecahedrons or something like that. Is that Pyritohedrons. <laughs> we'll also have to see how many sides they have. Grab the piece here. You can see it has some limelight cubes on them. They've been damaged a bit. It's been sitting out in the weather. I was up the hill a little way, looking at some of the uh, other interesting shaped limelight cubes. So instead of cubes, they form, I don't know what you call that, a 10-sided gun or an eight, yeah, like a 10-sided si gun or something. But, you know, that, that, that shape you see with some of the pirate crystals. So, yeah, just picked all those up off the surface. Dig in. You're looking for these brown spots. Oh, that's a crystal right there. Oh, nice. So there's a crystal. They're usually covered in dirt. But you're looking for these brown spots where there's a lot of iron. So you go through these layers, they kind of have a yellow to white color. And as soon as you get to where it looks all rusted, then you know you're in the spot. So just kind of a recap of where we're at right now. These are going very well. I'm pulling out some big ones. And another one. Smaller one this time. So yeah, we got some nice bigger ones. I forgot to film those, I was too excited. <laughs> the film as we're digging just to see if we can pop out. Because I was just digging and this popped out. Look at that thing. Too bad it's hollow on the inside. But beautiful. Also, got that nice piece. Oh. Oh, you right there. Oh, look at that pretty thing. And all that right there, too. You can see several right up there. Uh, was, I broke that one, dang it. Dang. You can see that one's still pyrite right there. Oh, man. Dang, that's beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, there's a really big one right here. Nice. Yeah, look over there. Come over here to the side. Right, this Come guy. On. Take a closer look. Oh, yes. Look at this thing. Oh. Oh, wow. wow. That's heavy. That's probably the find of no, the day. Let's see, that one side isn't it? Oh, there's another one right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of broken. Okay. There's another. That is probably the find of the day right there. I don't know. Keep going there. There's one. Let's get another closer look at that. There's another one. Look at that monster. This one's pretty clean looking. 
Oh yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Nice. Oh, right there. Oh, you get, oh yeah, you got another one there too. Go ahead. Oh, it's still pretty stuck in there. This one. Smaller one. So just toss it over here for now. There's a whole bunch there waiting. <laughs> oh. oh, that's not it though. It's Where's the other one? Yeah. Still there. It's still right there. Again? So if you can get still, this off, yeah. If you if you can get that thing off. Oh, there's some big ones in the matrix right there. There it comes. Oh. Still in the matrix? Yeah. There it is. Cool. Looks like it broke a little oh, another one. Oh. Nice. These over here. Little one. Oh. Little one in that matrix right there. We need to go through all this matrix right here. Yeah, it's got some good crystals. Probably bigger than most of the stuff. One right there, I think that's one right there. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one right there in the back. Oh. Pull it right out. I think so. There's one right below it too. Oh, look at cool. that one. It's clean. That's a beautiful one. Put those over here. Yeah, just let's keep following this. <laughs> oh, I found a few more. We're gonna film and see what else comes out. So we got a nice little spot right there where things might be coming from. Oh, oh, hit that one. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a big one right there. Oh there yeah, you go. that's a cluster. There you go. Keep that one. Keep this one right here. Oh, there's a little piece. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's got two crystals together, yeah. Yeah. We get all these washed off. They'll look a lot better. Is that one right there? No, no. It's, not. it's all different colors of rock. It's so easy to miss them. This is just right here. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh. Add that to the pile. Oh. Rock turns brown. If you wonder. Oh, that's one. Oh. Look at that one. Nice. Big one. And no. Crystals over here, maybe? It's got some orange. Yeah, this has a few little ones in it. Oh, there they go. Check out this. Oh, got some more things coming out. I'm surprised you don't see any there. Huh. Oh, it's a broken one. Oh, that's another, I think that's the other half to that thing. <laughs> Might be. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at that one. Cool. Nice. And this one. Oh. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Too bad it's so fractured. Yeah. It's falling apart. <laughs> I don't know what you'd do with that one. Ooh, that oh, looks like man. a big one. Ooh, that. Is wow. huge. Dang. You gonna keep that one? Yeah. Oh, thanks. You want to take a turn digging? Sure. Okay. There's one. This one. Another one. Right there. 
Oh, that is a big one. Oh, look. It's got a nice crystal there and a big one there. Okay, he found a nice cluster right here, a nice big one. So he's gonna extract that and document it. Got a nice area poking out right here. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be a nice cluster right here. And then we got a nice area right here. We're still smart right here. here. So, in a good zone. Okay, we're gonna extract this. <laughs> Might need this one. find of the day so far <laughs> yeah well I'm back at home now and let's take a look at what I found oh it was a good dig look at that I've never found limonite pseudomorphs this large oh can you imagine if they were still pyrite that was one of the highlights of the dig right there nice big cluster that, that cube right there is what an inch to an inch an inch and a half across <laughs> this huge thing yeah that crystal's over two inches across uh, too bad it's got so much stuff on it so i washed these off with, but that's all i've done with them so far a lot of these have this residue on them that could be calcite or quartz and i'm gonna try and see if i can get that stuff off if I do manage to get some of these cleaned off, I'll show it in a future video. Oh boy, some of these though, these, some of these smaller ones though, look how beautiful those are. These ones that are really dark like this are still mostly pyrite on the inside. I've got one broken open right here. And as you can see right there on the edge, you can see inside how it's still pyrite. So looks like this stuff has been altering some of it for a long time, like that one. <laughs> uh, but some of it didn't alter too much. Some of it is still pretty darn close to the original pirate. And right here, we've got a bunch of little ones that are kind of like 10-sided things. Uh, just kind of weird, weird shape. I've seen pirate this shape in a lot of samples, but yeah, I don't know what to call it. A 10-sided gone, <laughs> 10 gone, whatever that's called. Decagon, I'd say. Okay. So, yeah. Wonderful dig. Lots of cool finds. Definitely going to go back out to this place again. Mm -hmm.